food. So today, I wanna give a shout out to Keep Palm Beach County Beautiful, who gave me this cool t-shirt to wear for Earth Day, which happens on April 22nd. So we are making a plant-based dish. I love the earth. Hopefully there'll be a little cartoon earth I can put right here. I wanna go ahead and remind you guys to subscribe to my channel, like and share it as much as possible. It's really helpful for me so that I can use some of the features on YouTube. So we're making a plant-based dish in honor of the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. We are gonna make chickpea fries spiced with kofta spice, something super unusual and super unique with a roasted red pepper dipping sauce. So let's get started. So you'll need about a two quart um, saucepan to make this recipe. You'll also need chickpea flour. I'm using Bob's Red Mill. The rest of it is, you know, you could give or take any of these spices that we're putting in there. I, I prefer these spices because it, it makes it unique and yummy, but you can just as easily use salt and pepper and make these, these chickpea fries, you know, boring. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna toast our spices. So I'm gonna just load up this pan with all my spices. Teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of ginger, cayenne pepper, I'm just using an eighth of a teaspoon or, you know, you can just do a pinch or leave it out, you know, because if you don't like it spicy. Quarter teaspoon of coriander, quarter teaspoon of cumin, quarter, te eh, quarter teaspoon of onion powder, quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, so we're just gonna put our um, pan on like a medium low heat and we're just gonna toast up our spices until they begin to smoke. Um, that's, that's the secret to using spices that have been in a jar locked away. I call them genies in a bottle. So we need to release all the fragrance and the oils in the spices that have been locked away inside the bottle. So we just toast them gently and then we can add the rest of our um, ingredients on top. Now that our spices are smoking slightly, we're gonna add four cups of water and we're gonna add a tablespoon of pro seasoning. If you don't have pro seasoning, you could just use two teaspoons of salt. Okay, now that we're boiling, we are going to um, slowly add the two cups of chickpea flour. It's gonna be a little lumpy and that's okay. You'll never get all the lumps out, but the texture will even out when you um, when it sets. Um, this is like liquid hot magma, so be careful. If it gets on your skin, it's, it's gonna burn. So make sure you're near you know, a sink or a little bit of water you can dip your hand in if it splatters on you, because if it sticks, um, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of chopped cilantro to this. Our next step is to put our bean mixture, our chickpea mixture into a sheet tray. So I have a quarter sheet tray here lined with parchment paper. You can use a brownie pan if you have it. I smooth it down with one of these. It's a little tiny offset spatula. I love this, it's like one of my favorite little kitchen tools. But basically I'm just gonna smooth it down like I would like a sponge cake batter. Okay, it's time to make our dipping sauce. So we are gonna use mayonnaise. You can use vegan mayonnaise if you like. That way, no eggs are harmed in the making of this video. One cup of mayonnaise. Let's see, it should, be, it should be one roasted red pepper. They usually come out like this. Boom. A couple of shakes of cayenne pepper. I, I don't like it super spicy. A dash of agave nectar or honey and half a tablespoon of pro seasoning. Look at that color. Okay, these are nice and set, our chickpea fry base. And now all we're gonna do is just lift it right out of the pan like that. And we're gonna slice it. my super special Earth Day special. Um, shout out to, ugh, got cilantro all over my hands. Shout out to Keep Palm Beach County Beautiful. Don't forget that just eating one vegetarian meal a week can reduce pollution, water and land use, slow deforestation, and it's healthy for you. Lower that cholesterol, folks. 
Thanks for watching, guys. If you like my show, don't forget to hit the little bell so you know when I'm posting another video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and as always, leave a comment down below after you watch the video. I want to know what you want to learn next. Let's talk about food. You can buy my pro seasoning at NikkiTalksFood.com. That's Nikki with two Ks, and I'll put the link right here. This is the ultimate all-purpose seasoning. You'll never have to use an all-purpose seasoning ever again after this. This is made with Himalayan pink salt. There's no sugar, there's no anti-caking agents, and it's awesome.